Welcome to the Night Out in the Parks information session. In this brief presentation, we hope to give you a more in-depth look at how the Night Out in the Parks program partners with local artists and arts organizations to bring cultural performances and events to parks all across Chicago. We'll review the goals of the Night Out in the Parks program, determine your partner eligibility, provide an overview and timeline of the program, help you to understand our priorities for Night Out partners, and go step-by-step -step through the call for proposals to help you complete a successful application and share what you can expect after you hit submit. Night Out in the Parks draws upon the expertise of community members and park staff, as well as arts programmers and cultural producers to create work that reflects the lives and experiences of Chicago citizens. First, we aim to ensure that every Chicago neighborhood has access to quality arts and culture programming that reflects Chicago's vast cultural landscape. While we acknowledge that barriers to access are more than economic, we believe that our commitment to free programming is foundational to bringing communities together. In an effort to highlight our city's rich cultural landscape, we work to ensure our program reaches every community area in Chicago, bringing a diverse mix of all artistic genres and disciplines to parks citywide. From emerging and youth artists to seasoned professionals, our performances and events are by Chicagoans for Chicagoans. Each year, our events showcase over 1,500 individual artists and serve hundreds of thousands of patrons, creating unique experiences that deepen relationships within their communities. Last but not least, we produce performances and events in parks to cultivate the kinds of community activities that nurture a culture of safety and connectivity in public space. Active space is safe space, and we know our presence in parks has a ripple effect long after the final bow. We're excited to invite you into this community of connectivity and hope you'll keep these larger goals in mind as you consider how your work might fit into the Night Out in the Parks program. If you're a new partner this year, it may be helpful to review our guidelines for participation to ensure that you meet the requirements. In order to be a Night Out in the Parks partner, you must be a Chicago-based organization or individual artist. You must commit to a community relationship with your park partners for the duration of the season. You must communicate regularly with your district liaison and complete all paperwork and contracting promptly, correctly, and in a timely fashion. Your program must be offered to the community for free. You must be flexible in terms of locations, scheduling, and amenities, and you must continue to be COVID safe. As a Night Out in the Parks partner, you are part of the city's large-scale programming initiative to offer arts and culture activities in each of our park regions. Each season, Night Out in the Parks works with 100 partners and artists to program hundreds of cultural events. Partners are responsible for all aspects of their programming, which includes event logistics such as equipment rentals, audience management, performer safety, and marketing outreach efforts. However, Night Out partners can receive funding, access to space, resources and equipment, as well as promotional assistance. If awarded a partnership, you will be paired with a liaison from the Night Out in the Parks Program Committee. Your liaison will learn your program and be your park support as you plan throughout the season. In your initial meeting, your liaison will review your proposal with you, discuss park locations, and guide you through all logistics and community outreach. All proposals are due by midnight, December 10th. The Night Out in the Parks Review Committee evaluates proposals through January, and outreach to partners and planning begins in February, with the goal of publicly announcing the Night Out in the Parks season by June 1st. As we have worked to streamline the application process, We've been mindful to clearly communicate the five key areas in which we hope to see your strengths. We're looking for events and performances that exhibit high quality work from artists at every step of their career, who articulate a program that is enriching and engaging. We're evaluating your production viability, given the unique ecosystem of park spaces in Chicago. We want you to demonstrate your commitment to community connectivity through strategic outreach and marketing strategy that will engage Chicago communities. And lastly, we want you to show us your professionalism and self-sufficiency as evidenced by a sustainable budget that is fair and accurate to the project scope. The application itself uses these five points as a guide and asks you to share information about yourself in sections dedicated to each goal, 
In the next few slides, we are going to break down each section, sharing some insights and tips for a thorough application. In sections one and two of the application, we want to hear about you. Whether you're an individual artist, organization, small business, or a collaboration between groups, this is where you can give us a little background. This is also where we ask you to confirm your mailing address so that we can ensure you're a Chicago resident and eligible to partner with us. If your proposal is a collaboration between more than one artist or group, please decide who will be the primary administrative contact and make them the point person for communications. Once you've told us a little about yourself, tell us about your project. We are open to proposals that are ready to go as well as work that is in development or still taking shape. We're also happy to consider remounted productions that deserve a wider audience. And while we do prefer events that can play in threes, equally presented in the north, south, and west regions of the city, we are open to other configurations if there are defining details that dictate otherwise, such as an event tied to a specific date or neighborhood. True to the Park District's mission to put kids and families first, we will continue to champion family-friendly performances and events, but are also inclusive of programming geared towards teen and adult audiences, and we especially welcome culturally diverse and multilingual programming. In this section of the application, we hope to see a thorough description of your project and why it's a good fit for Night Out in the Parks, as well as any relevant supporting documents that will invite us into your vision, no matter what phase of production you might be in. Section three is where we get into the nuts and bolts of your event design. If you have a formal advance sheet or tech writer, you're more than welcome to attach it here, though it's not required at this time. Please know that even more so than in previous years, we will have limitations on technical resources due to the constraints on Park District staff. We strongly encourage you to streamline your tech needs and plan to provide things like generators and sound systems if they are essential to your event design as field houses may not be as widely accessible. For similar reasons, we prefer projects that can load in and out in the same day as overnight security is required for multi-day events and should be factored into your costs if necessary. Here we also ask to know more about your ideal event timeline, as well as the environment best suited to present your work. Do you need a flat surface like a basketball court or do you prefer to be in the grass? Do you need a covered area? How much space does your performance use? All these questions help us answer where you fit best in the physical world of the parks. One of our primary goals is to engage with parks and their local constituents by bringing more intentionally programmed and resonant cultural events to the parks. While your liaison will support you with identifying initial connections in the community, it's expected that you will lead your own community outreach and engagement efforts. For many partners, you will be working with the community for the first time. To set you up for success and minimize the challenges of cold outreach, all Night Out in the Parks partners will be required to identify an anchor partner to support your efforts and spread the word. Anchor partners can support you in finding connection points in each of your park communities. This could be a park advisory council, a community center, a church, social service agency, or even an individual community member. You're not expected to know your anchor partners during the application process. They will be identified during your partnership after you know which parks you're presenting in. In this section of the application, we want to understand your plan for connecting with communities throughout your night out relationship. We want to hear about who your intended audiences are and any partnerships you are working on in connection with your project. Do you have any specific parks or neighborhoods in mind that align with your project? And finally, we want to understand how your past experiences will shape your engagement approaches during your night out partnership. In addition to outreach in each park community, we expect you to reach your audiences in your custom way, whether that be through canvassing, e-blast, social media, advertising, etc. But we also encourage you to think creatively as to how you will promote your project to new audiences. In the application, we ask you for examples of your marketing materials. For the Park District's marketing needs, we also would like you to suggest which genre best describes your project. While we ask a lot of our partners in terms of marketing and outreach, we also offer specific support meant to broaden your reach and reduce your financial burden for material costs. The Park District's website will list your program and event descriptions and schedule on the Night Out in the Parks homepage. Your Night Out liaison will strategize with you to identify cross-marketing opportunities in collaboration with park supervisors, park programs, arts partners and residents, as well as community and civic organizations. The Park District social media team will co-host and cross-promote your events and highlight your work throughout the season. Unfortunately, 
the My Shy Parks app is no longer supported and will not be active moving forward. Like so many arts organizations, our Night Out in the Parks funding has been significantly impacted over the years. This year's financial awards will be limited and highly competitive, but we hope to counter that by being generous with our ability to provide space for performances and events, as well as production, marketing, and outreach support, even when we can't provide a financial award. In order to craft a competitive proposal, we encourage you to keep your costs low and be sure they represent what it costs to make your events a possibility. We value funding artists for their work. Artists' fees should reflect current industry standards and remain competitive. Allocate funding to your outreach and marketing efforts, which are essential to the success of your program. And present additional funding you may have sourced to make your Night Out in the Park series come to fruition as match dollars help create more robust programs. Your budget helps to tell us the story of your Night Out proposal. All the components that are expressed in your proposal should be translated through your budget. This connection between your proposal and your budget is important in our evaluation process. The budget form falls into three categories, expenses, committed project funding, and funding request. We hope to see budgets that are balanced in their presentation, meaning all financial needs should be accounted for in the project funding plan. We place high value on partners who are able to demonstrate a diversified financial investment in their work, of which we are but one part contributor. In your funding request, we hope to evaluate how the Park District's funding contribution will fit into your overall budget landscape by ensuring that your funding need and your funding request aligns. This tells us that you have balanced your budget and have a plan for how you will support your project. Whether this is your first year or your 12th, bringing public programming to park spaces invites the whole city to share one another's stories and create new traditions together. We invite you to realize your artistic vision with the hopes that you think of parks as some of the best places to enjoy celebratory moments with friends, family, and those you have yet to meet. If you have additional questions about the program, the requirements, or the application, please reach out to us at noitp at chicagoparkdistrict.com.